Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel and I'm now on question number 7 from the Pure Mathematics P3 International A-Level October 2021 paper. This question here is about logarithms, I guess, and it says the mass m kilograms of a species of tree can be modelled by the equation log to the base 10 of m equals 1.93 times log to the base 10 of r plus 0.684 where r centimetres is the base of the tree. Now the base, there's a base radius of the tree. The base radius of a particular tree of this species is 45 centimetres. According to this model, find the mass of this tree, giving your answer to two significant figures. Okay, so we've got to basically find what M is. Okay, so we can, um, when R is 45. Okay, so we can just replace the R with 45. Oops, let's get this pen sorted out. We're going to replace R with 45. And we'll say the log to the base 10 of m equals 1.93 log to the base 10 of 45 plus 0 0.684. So we could just, I guess, stick this straight into our calculator. So we'll end up with um, 1 1.93. And then we've got log to the base 10, which is basically log 45. And then we have plus 0 0.684. And that gives us 3.8747. 3 so log to the base 10 m equals 0 0.3. Oh, sorry, 3.87. Okay, so 3.8747, 3.8747, so we got to find what m is, so we can say that m is equal to 10 to the power of 3.8747, so we can work out what that is, we're going to have 10 to the power of this, so I'll put um, 10 to the power of the final answer that we had, and that gives us 7493.766, 7493.766. 766 okay and they want uh, this to two significant figures that's going to be stopping there so it's 7500 7500 kilograms the mass is equal to 7500 kilograms okay it doesn't say find the value of m it says find the mass of this tree and the mass is in kilograms so we should write our answer in kilograms Okay, we should we should mention 7,500 kilograms. Okay, now the part B of this question says show that the equation of this of the model can be written in the form m equals p r to the power of q, um, giving the values of the constants p and q to three significant figures. Okay, so we got to rearrange this into index form. So when we do that, what we can do is we can bring the logarithms together. Now I'm we don't actually have to write log to the base ten. I'm going to do it here because I have. If we just write log, it means log to the base 10. So you don't actually have to write 10 here. For that's the only log, you don't have to write the number here, the base 4. Log by itself means log to the base 10. And that's why I use this button here in the calculator, the log button, because it means log to the base 10. Right? So it means you don't have to put the base there, because it means that. So log to the base 10 of m minus 1.3 log to the base 10 of r equals 0 0.684. So... Um, one of the ways of solving this is to combine the logarithms together into one term. Okay, combine them into one term. So I can use the division law here. This will be log to the base 10. As long as you have the same base, you can write this as a division of R. Uh, before that, I have to use a power law. Okay, I have to get rid of this 1.93. That's multiplying log to the base 10. And write that as a power of R. So I have to write log to the base 10 of M minus log to the base 10 of r to the power of 1.93 equals 0 0.684. Now I can use uh, the division law. So I'll say log to the base 10 of m over r to the power of 1.93 is equal to 0 0.684. And now I can just use the, 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 the definition of a logarithm, basically, that this means this is the base, this is the power, this is the answer. So if you want to change this now into index form, this is the base. Here we have the power. And this gives you 
what that's supposed to equal. M over R to the power of 1.93. So we want it in this form here. So we can say M is equal to 10 to the power of 0 0.6884 times R to the power of 1.93. Now we want, this is this is P and this is um, R, this is uh, Q. So Q is already to 3SF. P, I have to write it in terms of 3SF. Let me just make a bit of space here. Okay, so I can say, therefore, that M is equal to, so I'm going to have 10 to the power of 0 0.684. Let me just change this then. 10 to the power of 0 0.684, which gives me 4.83. They want it to three significant figures, so 4.83. R to the power of 1.93. Okay, so does it say state the values of N? Okay, so we've written in that form. That's enough. We've got everything um, written in the form they want. We can write it like that. If you want to say afterwards that P is equal to 4.83 and Q is equal to 1.93, that's perfectly fine. Okay, P is the coefficient here and Q is the power there. So we can write that if you want, but there's the answer, 4.83 times r to the power of 1.93. And then it says, with reference to the model, interpret the value of the constant p. Okay, so if we look at the model that we had here, m equals p r to the power of q. Okay, now m is, as we said, the mass. This is the mass of a tree. Okay, with, with radius... R. Okay, so um, basically the constant P, which is equal, so the, ma the, 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 the equation we got is M equals 4.83 R to the power of 1.93. So 4.83, this constant here, okay, so as P is equal to 4.83, we can say that this constant here represents a tree which has a mass of 4.83 kilograms. Now, when will a tree have a mass of 4.83 kilograms? Um, well, when the radius is 1. When this is 1, okay, 1 to the power of anything is going to be 1, okay, and you'll end up with the mass being 4.83. So if r is equals 1, you'll have 4.83 times 1 to the power of 1.93, which is 1. So you can say that this is the mass of a tree with a radius of 1 and it was in one centimeters. R is in centimeters. Okay, so that's the mass of a tree with a radius of one centimeter. Okay, that's when the mass will equal this constant 4.83. Okay, that's how we can um, uh, answer it. Now, many students I saw when I marked the paper for um, the like little mock I gave for this was uh, they they wouldn't they said it's the initial mass of the tree or you know something like that but um, here there's no time involved this is just radius and uh, mass so it's, you can't say like it's the initial mass of the tree or you have to think about what is the value of r which will make you know the mass become 4.83 that will interpret what it is so you can see it's the mass this is the mass of the tree when r is equal to one okay so that's how you can interpret the value of this constant okay a bit slightly tricky that last part because most of you are used to things with time you say, okay, you know, when time equals zero, and normally the time is in the power here. And when the power becomes zero, this thing becomes one, you're left with this value. That's what we're used to seeing in most of these type of questions. It's slightly different. So take care of that. Okay, so this question here is kind of about exponentials and logarithms. And um, other questions from this paper can be found in this playlist over here. Other questions from this topic of exponentials, exponentials and logarithms can be found in this um playlist that the link should appear in this area you can click on this to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching and see you soon